We go to Lebanon now for a quick update. Lebanon's entire government resigns over Beirut blast. Wow, this is New York Post, NYPost.com. And the photograph here is a cement barrier looking out over the blast site with cranes. I mean, this is just, this is, this photo is going to go down in history. You are going to remember this as a photograph of historic significance, like the rising or the, the raising of the American flag by Marines and a corpsman at Iwo Jima. You have a blast site. You have these cranes eerily charred in front of it. You have the silo building, the concrete hulk remainder of it in the background with a beautiful, beautiful blue sky, scattered clouds behind it. And in front, this big cement barrier and an almost perfect handwriting. Black spray, black spray paint. My government did this. Yeah, undeniable, beautiful. Yes, let this be a teachable moment for humanity. Not I did this, not we did this, but I bear some responsibility. This is my government. My government did this. Mm, mm, mm. Amen. Lebanon Health Minister on Monday said the whole government has resigned in the wake of last week's massive explosion, which claimed at least 220 lives and injured about 6,000. Speaking with reporters after a cabinet meeting, Ahmad Hassan added that Prime Minister Hassan Diab will head to the presidential palace to hand over the resignation in the name of all the ministers. The government's resignation comes after seven cabinet members stepped down after Tuesday's devastating explosion, which is believed to have been caused by an accidental fire. They ignited 2,750 tons of ammonium nitrate stored for six years in a port warehouse. Diab reportedly plans to address the nation at 7.30 p.m. local time. Yes. Let this be a teachable moment. And uh, yeah, uh, the latest numbers I saw from other stories were uh, the death toll is 220. 6,000 injured. May their deaths not have been in vain. <laughs>